great lads, you want to welcome back to another match day vlog today, Fulham at home in the Siberian weather, beast from the east as we call it. Um, I'm feeling pretty confident about today, I think we'll only concede about 3 or 4 to Fulham, so that's a positive. But on a real though, obviously we drew 1-1 to Norwich, 2-2 to Leeds, 3-3 to Reading, so it's only fair if we end this game 4-4, and I can actually see it, because we're not, we can score goals, but we leak goals, Fulham are a good attacking side, I can actually see a 4-4 on the cards, but... I'm just going to go straight up 3-0 Fulham. I'm not happy with the form we're in at the minute compared to Fulham, who are the best um, team in the division form-wise, so I think they're going to do it now. <laughs> One nil up, I so can see straight after. Literally, it's just unreal that you know, my prediction's on it. Like my three nil prediction. Gomez. Come on, man. Oh. Prediction well on course. This hat is cursed. I might take it off too far. Who else put Ryan Sessi on at this point? To say the least, that was embarrassing. It was spineless. I'm... To say how much Gary Rowett talks about the experience in the squad, where's the experience though? So, literally, we're making. Baby errors, it's like they've never played together. Defensive, <laughs> what do you work on in training? At one point it was looking like I was going to get my prediction correct with a 3-0 Fulham but in the second half we played better, probably uh, could have got some out of the game if our finishing was a bit more uh, clinical. However, fact of the matter is we've lost another game, that's two wins in ten now and you know we're in some dire straits. The team's in disarray in my opinion, It's it's the future is looking bleak and uh, some people might say I'm overreacting but when you look at it this way... We're currently five points off seventh, and if Sheffield United win, we're only three points off seventh. With the way we're playing, I can't see us getting a win. All the teams below us are in good form, so at the minute, it doesn't look good. The future doesn't look bright. I keep going back to it. I think January's cost us big time. Um, obviously, we brought in Palmer. Good piece of business. He looks class, to be fair. Jerome, he's not doing much at the minute, but like, to be fair, like 90% of the squad is, so I can't single him out. But... 
we got rid of so many good players and didn't invest in that, you know, that quality. Like, well, when when we were uh, talking about Grzynski, Gary, uh, they, Gary Hart wanted him on loan or summer and uh, didn't want to splash the cash because he was too expensive. If he's that quality player that can push you over the line, spend that money on him. If you get promoted, that's that investment is paid you back. But no, we decided to, you know, get a striker over 30 and Palmer. And it's come back to bite us because if you look at the teams around us, we by far got the weakest squad. Like Cardiff, all right, Cardiff, like the Cardiff squad is overachieving massively, right? But Villa and Fulham are playing some really good football. QPR is a massive game for more reasons than just getting back on track. It's the game before Forest, but also it's the game that could potentially save or uh, make or break our playoff hopes. Like, no point looking at top two anymore. It's playoffs, right? I'm not even like being up. Uh, I'm not even being pessimistic. I'm just being realistic at this point. Uh, but yeah, that was my thoughts. Hopefully, you did enjoy this vlog, guys. Uh, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're even 4,000 subs by the end of the season. If you did enjoy, make sure you hit that like button below. This is Shaman. We'll see you guys later. Peace out.